Hello dear viewers. Today, we will tell you about England in the 11th century. The history of England begins with the island's breakaway. From mainland Europe around 6000 BC, the development that was instrumental in the formation of English. Consciousness in the country was the Christianization activities and the organization of the church, which started with the influence of missionaries coming from Rome and of the 7th century AD. Meanwhile, among the many states existing on the island, King Egbert of Wessex gained power and gathered the others around him. This process resulted in Alfred, who took the throne after Ethelred, defeating the Vikings and being declared the King of all England in 886, from the 10th century onwards. The Kingdom of Norway and Denmark also became interested in England. This was the beginning of a period of decline for the English. This process culminated in the Vikings taking over the whole country in the early Xi century. The invasion of the Normans, who had previously come and settled in Ireland, began. The Normans defeated King Harold of England in 1066 and dominated the country. The lands of England were divided. Among aristocrats of Norman origin, and the period of feudalism began. In time, the English were completely removed from the administration. Latin became the administrative language. Henry II, who ascended to the throne in 1154, reformed the administration and ensured the kingdom's control over all the country's territories. Upon the death of Henry II in 1189, Richard I took the throne. Due to the Crusader Wars, that marked his 10-year reign. Richard could only stay in his country for six months. During this period, England was ruled by a council authorized by Richard. After Richard's death while fighting in France, he was succeeded by his son John. When King John had a dispute with the Pope over the appointment of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Pope Innocentius III excommunicated John. However, after a while, when there was an uprising against him in the country. John asked for support by declaring that he accepted the wishes of the Pope in order to protect his throne. In the meantime, some lords and bishops who took action against John prepared a document guaranteeing their feudal rights and pressurized John. As a matter of fact, the king had to sign this document which went down in history as Magna Carta on the 15th of June 1215. However, after a very short time, the parties did not fulfill their responsibilities related to this contract, and a long period of turmoil and civil wars began in England. We will conclude England in the 11th century in our next video. Thank you for watching us.